This is a 1953 international pickup truck. Uh, it's a L110. Uh, it's a half ton pickup truck. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I like international pickup trucks and they're sort of like a Studebaker or a Packard or a Hudson or they're just very hard to come up with. The international pickup trucks are just very scarce. Uh, got different colors of paint bleeding through on the hood and the rest of the truck's got a lot of character. It's got the stooped over sun visor. Uh, we put new mirrors on it. Um, got a set of 18 inch Panther wheels on it. Got the uh, new style LED headlights with the LED park lights below. It looks real cool at night. Lit up. These little uh, fender lights, they're turn signals. They work very well. This truck is sitting on a 1996 Dodge Dakota short bed chassis. It's got a Magnum 3.9 power steering, power brakes. Uh, it's got AM FM CD player. It has um, air conditioning. Air conditioner blows cold on it. Uh, this truck you not only can drive but you can enjoy it. Uh, not only show it but you can if you want to run 70 mile an hour down the highway. Uh, 80 on the interstate, whatever. Uh, the truck drives and runs very well. It's got a low stance to it. It's got a good look to it. Um, I really enjoy building these rat rod trucks. It's got the double back windows, which is really rare. Um, the truck's very solid. It's not ate up and gone. Um, it's got a lot of creature comforts to it. Like I say, it does have AC on it. That's a big deal. You know, these sh car shows, a lot of them's in the summertime. And uh, it's nice to have air. Put the tin in the bed just like I did the other truck. Got Autobahn stereo speakers. Uh, those are new. Got a, the Dodge Dakota seat. I ordered new carpet for it. Getting ready to put the uh, strip down here on the uh, seal strip on the uh, carpet where I put new carpet in it. This truck, uh, it's got, it, I love the inside of it. It's got like a piece of trailer paneling on the doors. Uh, on this side, and on this side, it's got like a green door panel. It's just really got a lot of character. I stick my CDs up here in the corner. The, the wind is the wind windshield in the front windshield is very good condition. The side windows has got some cracking in them, as you can see. I'm gonna replace those, um, just like I did the other truck. There's the heater control switch mounted under the dash, just like the uh, Dodge Dakota had. Uh, CD player. This is the siren. Just barely touch that. It's very, very loud. Um, if you've seen my other video, I had the same size, same kind of siren on it. It's got a 1962 old steering wheel on it. It's sort of just rat rod looking. Uh, the Dodge Dakota steer, uh, light switch. Functional, um, got a functional um, spotlight. Works good. The sun visor looks cool in, in here, you know, uh, gives you extra block some extra sun off of you as well but the air in this truck will run you out um the heat works as well very cool very cool inside underneath the hood hinges from both sides you can see it's 3.9 you got a new battery in it new radiators don't want this thing running hot during the show or in a parade so i didn't spare any cost there the hood does hinge from both sides. A very good looking truck, got a good stance to it. Probably one of the best uh, so far that I've built. Built a couple of these international pickup trucks, but as far as the look, this one seems to have the best look to it. Um, like I said, this truck is very drivable. It's, I'll start it up, let you guys hear it run. pumping the gas, no worried about the gas mileage because it gets about 22 miles to the gallon, runs out really well, it's very quiet, it's got the exhaust coming out the back here, believe it or not that is the factory exhaust on the Dodge Dakota, this truck runs very good. Solid body.
doors shut good, open and close good, both sides do. Like I say, it's got the 18 inch Panther wheels on it. High speed tires, Coopers. The real nice old style tail lights on it, stainless steel. Just a real good looking truck. I, I love it. But, but you know, if you guys know, I build these trucks to sell. So, here's my 1953 latest creation. Thank you.